So in this video, I'm going to be sharing some non-traditional ways on how I mount my flash to get the best possible results. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So as I said in my intro, in today's video, I want to share with you some non-traditional ways that I mount my flash. Now, why do I call it non-traditional? Because I don't use a light stand. Now, the reason why I don't use a light stand is because you might be, or you might encounter some situations in which you might actually have to put your flash in an area that's gonna be a part of your shot and yet you might have a difficult time actually removing it or it doesn't look very practical. In other words, I actually light lighting in a practical manner. I want the light to have a specific purpose. Like in this behind the scenes photo that I am showing you now, I wanted the light to come directly from above and in front of the subjects. And if I put a light stand there, it would have been almost impossible for me to remove it because I would be covering them. And if I put it anywhere else, it might not have looked as natural. Now, if you want to see the actual result of this particular behind the scenes photo and the entire thought process behind it, that video will be coming up soon in the channel. So again, don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified the moment I upload that video. Now, how did I mount that? Basically, during that time, the only option I had was this one. This is called the Manfrotto Justin Clamp. So it's, uh, well, it's spring, it's spring powered, so you could mount it anywhere, technically anywhere that this mouth can, can clamp on. And it's got a mini ball head here that mounts directly to your flash's hot shoe, like this one, like here. Now, my biggest problem with this one is the fact that it is very flimsy. In other words, you're dependent on the, the strength of the spring, number one. Number two, this particular mount is already an issue by itself because this mount doesn't really last or doesn't really hold the flash as strongly as you would want it to be. And I've destroyed a lot of these things already. So it's not really that safe. That's why I was fortunate that, of course, now in 2022, there are other options for this and I will be showing you a few right here. Now, as a full disclaimer, these things were sent to me by iFootage. This is what you call the spider crabs. These are friction arms, which is the best way for you to mount your off-camera flash in situations where you don't need it or you cannot use a light stand. But I was already a fan of these products even before they sent it to me. So this is not really technically a sponsored video because they did not sponsor it. They just sent me the products and they have no control about what I am going to say about these particular products, okay? So what are friction arms? Basically, these are friction arms. They are articulating, it's like your arm. Exact, exactly like your arm. Well, I won't show you this one. Let me show you the bigger one. Oh no, this is fine. Okay, this is fine. Now, there are different choices here. You've got the LT series and the MA series. Now, the LT series basically just has a cold shoe mount at the very bottom instead of what I'm going to show you now. And of course, the sizes will be different, but technically they all work the same. So this is how it works. In both ends, you've got ball heads and right in the middle is what you call like, this is where the friction stops. This is like your elbow. So you could twist it to any direction and this one becomes your wrist and this one may be your shoulder here. So this one mimics your arm. So it's like having your flash in your hand and just articulating it to point it to the direction you want to point it. Now, the nice thing about this particular one, the spider crabs, is that you can see here that the grooves are very pronounced. So the moment you lock it into place, it just won't move. 
And these things are so well made. I've really been a fan of their products. Actually, I have a few of their light stands. I use, those are the light stands that I use when I'm shooting all my instructional videos in the channel. It's, they're basically, they're the unsung heroes, right? So what about this one? Again, what about this one is actually very cool. It is a quick release system. In other words, it comes with attachments like this. And if you look at these attachments, basically there's a one fourth thread inside a three eighth thread. And you've got locking points here so that it just doesn't move. Then you've got an O-ring here at the very end so that it just doesn't um, twist in case that you don't have the locking pins. Now, these things you can mount anywhere. In other words, let's say for example, this particular speed light, I wanna mount it here. These speed lights normally come with attachments like this or stands like this that have one fourth screws here in the bottom. So all I have to do now is twist this and mount it there. And of course, now this one's in place, then all I have to do is just put it here and it's locked into place. Then I can mount my flash right there. So now I have my flash and basically an extension of my arm. Now, how do you mount this? Well, normally you could mount it with clamps like this one. These clamps also have options for you to mount the other end of these clips right here. Now here you could see there are actually um, locking pins so that they don't twist around. So the moment you put it, even if I haven't really twisted anything, I can't move it anymore. Then now I'll lock it in place. And there you go. Just put it there. And then mount this anywhere and then lock the friction arm or the spider clamp or the spider crab. And there we go, doesn't move anymore. So this one, of course you're limited again when it comes to the, to the width of what this one can clamp onto and the strength. Now, if you are still unsure of things like this, normally I would use, let me take this out. I would use things like this. This is the Manfrotto Super Clamp. Now this thing, the moment you lock this in place, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's actually the one holding my 150CM with my FS150 from Nanlite here, it's my main light, and it's not gonna move. Okay, so that's how powerful this thing is. You can see here again, I have the one fourth thread. So this one will just go there. And again, it will lock in place. And the moment it locks in place, all you have to do is do that, and that's it. Not gonna move. No matter what you do, this thing is so much sturdier than this one. So that's why it's a very unconventional way of mounting your light or your light, but it really does do the job, especially in those situations in which you can't actually use a light stand. Now let's say you don't want to use a speed light. You decide you want to use maybe a flash or um, a continuous light, let's say for example like this one, the Nanlite Forza 60. Well, there's things that you could buy like this one. This one basically creates a spigot. You just screw it on like that. And then you can mount it in place here. And then you could just mount it here, like that. And then, well I didn't lock it in place too much anymore. But you guys get the point that, there you go. Now I have my continuous light which I can put bigger modifiers now, and this thing, as I said earlier, will definitely hold it, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it enlightened you that technically you don't really need to use a light stand all the time, especially if the situation dictates that you need to have your light coming from a specific direction or a specific place. Now, I've always said that it's very easy to edit stuff but there's one thing that's very difficult to do, and that is the direction of the light. Of course, unless you're like a professional um, portrait master editor or something like that. But it takes a lot of time. And if you can get it right in cam, there's a special pleasure that comes with that. And I love doing that. I really do love trying to get all my images straight out of cam, ready to go. And having the light in the direction or the area that I want it to be is always an essential tool in my kit.
okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And again, if you like this video, don't forget to like this, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and while you're at it, click that notification bell. And if you want to see some of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino, okay? Till the next video.